Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about Anode Heart, a brand new monster taming game that just released a couple of days ago as of the time of this video going live. Now, that being said, in today's video, we're going to be discussing whether or not I think the game's any good so far and sort of the crux of the game and gameplay loop. So you get an idea of what type of game it is and whether or not it's for you. The video is going to be a little bit on the shorter side as opposed to a full scale review, but I still think that this type of video will give you more than enough information to make an informed decision before for purchasing. That said, let's dive in. Okay, so Anode Heart is a Digimon World inspired RPG that aims to take the best of Digimon World 1 and Digimon World 3 and sort of compact it into a beautiful pixel world environment. You're going to notice similarities right off the bat when you start out and are met by an old man named Shishi who is definitely not inspired by Gigimon. And essentially it turns out that you're some sort of android that can tame and utilize creatures known as Tama in battle. Tama, from what I understand, are essentially these creatures that only ever existed within the computerized or I guess you could say digital world world until they started spawning in the overworld and this alongside a bunch of real life glitches taking place has caused a bit of a problem for those existing within the world of Animal Heart. The gameplay loop is very similar to the Digimon World games in that you essentially have to recruit various sentients from around the world and bring them to the main town where they can further aid you on your journey. Certain areas are locked off via recruitment cards, which are items that you can get for recruiting different characters as well. A lot of these quests to recruit these characters are generally more condensed and I guess could almost be considered sort of side questy, but in a good way, in that they help immensely with world building. There is a city full of rats, for example, where they have their own sort of problems to deal with. There's people from other lands that you can battle against and other stuff like that. In terms of Digimon world raising elements, this game definitely plays more like an RPG in that you don't really have to worry about your Tama getting hungry or them pooping or anything like that, but you still do have some control over their evolution, stat allocation, and they even learn moves through wild enemies, which is an awesome thing to bring over from those types of games. I think that if you are a fan of the Digimon World games, Anode Heart is a no-brainer as it emulates that experience whilst also bringing its own unique twist to the table. And if you aren't a fan of Digimon World because maybe you don't like feeding your monsters and making sure they're pooping and stuff like that, I still think you'll find this game enjoyable because it's really more of an RPG than a raising game. All in all, so far from the few hours that I've put in an Anode Heart, I'm really enjoying it. I definitely think it's a game that deserves more attention. If I wasn't so busy in my real life right now, I'd probably have beaten it at this point, but I did at the very least want to spread the word a little bit for you guys because the developer does deserve it. They're working really hard on it and I honestly wish I could do more. That being said, if you found this short video useful, definitely make sure to subscribe to the channel. We're trying to hit that 100k and I'm starting to taste that a little bit as we get closer. You can also check out my Twitter, Discord, Patreon, channel memberships, and PayPal linked below if you want to go that extra mile in supporting the channel. And I just wanted to say special thanks to our supporters, especially Jim Hamilton, Dro Ghost, and Candy Maranci, and I'll see you next time. Peace.